It's Fight Song on Hunger Time. Alrighty, this week on the newsletter, do check it out. Do subscribe. There is a lot of great stuff in it. Um, we're going to play a video, so I will leave it to you all to go to Adafruit Daily. Sign up. Okay, there was one thing that I really liked in the newsletter, because I did read it. Case keeps going down. The play card sorter was kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, no, keep going. This, this was cool. This was cool. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going Oh, on. you know what? No, sorry. It was on the um, learning system. Oh, yeah. Playgrounds? Playgrounds, I think. Yeah, can you refresh? Yeah. Yeah, this is the latest. Okay, scroll down. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Pumpkins versus Skeletons game. That is cool. This is cool. Who will win? And it's like this, it's a fun game showing how to like wear your own video cool. games um, for Circuit Python. Yeah. Sprites and stuff. Okay, right. Um, and it was just spooky themed. Jepler did a really neat video. We're going to show it now. And uh, see you on the other side. Hey, Jeff, tell me what you're working on. So uh, I'm working on a Circuit Python audio FX project. So with the Pico 2, the i2s uh, to headphone plug, which is going over to my speakers, and I can press a button and get a sound effect. Track two, track three. So this works kind of like the original Adafruit Audio FX board. You've got your play once, you got your randoms. Track one, random two, track one, random three. And you've got your hold. Track four hold loop, track four hold loop, track four hold loop. But what's exciting about the CircuitPython version, besides that it uses MP3s, uh, is that you can play more than one sound at once. Track one, track two, random three, track three, track four hold loop, track four hold loop, track two, track four hold loop. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. The guide is live on the Adafruit Learn system. So if you want to go know more, check it out. Okay, go to Adafruit Daily, sign up. We deliver it each week. Get it on RSS, get it on blog, get it on GitHub, all the places.